Racing pigeons coming home after a day of training. Samuel Mbiza is the owner of Samuel Loft, a club for racing pigeons in Walkerville, south of Johannesburg. So where did it all start for Mbiza? As a young boy, we kept um, pigeons, but what you call your pack pigeons, your street pigeons. So we um, take our slings and shoot them on top of roofs and after tame them and so forth. And, but my mother was a person who was unique and she, she loved unique things, different things. So besides those normal ones that we shot from the roofs, <coughs> we, my mother bought me uh, fan tails, those ones with, 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 with big tails, the beautiful ones. Last year, Mbiza made history by buying Belgium's best long distance racing pigeon at an auction for a record 5 million rand. His plan is to breed the bird and create plenty of champion races for South Africa. Jerry Kumalo is Samuel Loft's manager. He's in charge of training and supervises the care of the birds. I teach them how to fly outside, how to uh, train them. So in the morning we wake up, first we take them out, we chase them for one hour, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes when they're still young. When they grow up, we start to take them out with a baki, we basket them, we take them out 20 k's, 40 kilometers, 60 kilometers, up to 100. Like from this week, we're training them 100 kilometers. The prize money in pigeon racing is high. One can earn up to 14 million rand for a first place in some cases. But the entry fee can be as high as 15,000 rand. Mbiza plans to build a loft in Soweto and wants to get more young people from disadvantaged backgrounds involved. I would really encourage and everyone knows that in South Africa we are facing a lot of challenges financially, especially in the townships. The plague, uh, the, there are no more jobs. Things are not good. So why not a sport that is a good hobby, take them away from crime, and also a sport that can empower them financially. There's no better one than pigeon racing. There are of course challenges with animal activists calling for a ban on pigeon racing. They say it's cruel. That's because pigeons face hazards such as power lines, birds of prey and planes during long distance races. But Mbiza loves his pigeons and treats them like royalty.